everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. Back again today with Philip. Philip's music um, on Instagram and this was not one of them as I, I was already like huh when it was like a big old choir sound for the, for the... <laughs> that's a very unusual way to start a song I noticed when Philip's voice came in I had to be sure to get my subtitles on even though it's in English his diction style is very very unfocused meaning he's not interested in delivering precise crisp clear consonants his focus is not on making sure that we understand every word it's definitely more about expressing what the words mean to him so i want to go back and check this much out again we'll start right on philip's entrance because it sounds like the choir part is coming back in again right now so we'll start on philip's entrance let me get to know this lyric, this first verse, a bit more. Nobody can take my light. I pray that you won't leave my side. No words could explain how much I like no more. Everything I want to take no more. I pray I bleed us up for gain no more. But that begins to feel it bright no more. Yes. Maybe it's just the songs that I have played by Philip, but I see some themes. I really, really recognize some themes for for philip an inner struggle the line no one can take my light i won't break i do see these these commonalities in his lyrics struggling with perceptions of him struggling with people who have disappointed him who have hurt him and this this vocal so far yes there is so so much emotion in it i really just love how he's able to convey so much in his voice um the part about suffocate break ache notice how he kind of punches those words he kind of growls those words that word that word suffocate that's a painful word that's an unpleasant word whereas when he sings a word like light you'll notice how pretty it is when he says my light let's a b those for a moment And then his voice actually breaks on the word break no more. His voice actually breaks. I love that. It's just beautiful prosody, but 
it's just just that genuine emotion, that singing from the heart that Philip is so capable of doing. I just love that about him so much. When he really taps in deep, he we can feel it. We can feel it. And it's beautiful. It's vulnerable and it's beautiful. Yeah, it's not so it's not only just themes about people disappointing, it's about survival. It's about continuing on and keeping your head high through the, through the valleys, through the pain, through the struggle, through disappointment, hurt, all of that. I feel like this is, a, again, just a very personal message from Philip, but I also think it's a very inspirational message for all of us. I'm definitely feeling some church vibes here. This could be a song sung in a church. Oh, it's good to spend how much I like no more. Everything I want to take no more. I paint a bleed us up again no more. But that begins to feel it bright no more. going to be the end of of that section but there's still more there's still more intensity i love these ad libs they're beautiful they're cool and then then those lines that pop out again how much i ache inside do you believe that philip knows ache yes <laughs> there's no way you wouldn't he is so expressive there i can just imagine the tears you know it's it's easy to picture that he is singing it with every fiber of his being, all the pain, all the ache, it is there in that moment of the song. It's so beautiful. We have to go back to that spot and let's continue and see where else this is going. It's gone in a different direction. It's broken away from structure. It's like, F this. <laughs> I've got feels now, I'm feeling. And he's just feeling. That is what he's doing. You know, maybe, he, maybe you, could, you could kind of metaphor it as like, no more playing by the rules. I'm doing me right now. And he, 
these ad libs are so cool so beautiful so expressive the mixing the effects it's all very very cool i love hearing him here and hearing him here and all the woes right here and just not knowing like i you, you might have seen i kept being like okay i better pause i better pause let me talk about this but oh here comes another one. Oh, here comes another one he's just vibing he's just just expressing it feels so authentic i'm so intrigued i just really admire his artistry with a very surreal world here. Adding the children's voices, uh, talking about we are the future, and yet there's a minor key, this piano. It, I'm, 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 I'm having some I'm having some trouble wrapping my brain about it, wrapping my brain around it, which I love. It feels a bit performance artish. It's just, it feels very, very, from the heart. It's just like, forget the rules. This is what I'm feeling. I'm putting it in music. This is how it's gonna come out. I need kids to sing this part, whatever. I love, it's really, really cool. <laughs> again but suddenly whoa, his low notes and people listen to it on headphones so you can hear him so you can hear the cool panning here it's very very dramatic to hear this these low notes coming in all around me power and all kinds of vibrations it's it's those those low hums that are kind of offsetting the piano and the kids' voices, all that, super cool. Then that final chorus, finally a return to the familiar. And what I loved about that final chorus was Ken's ad-libs. Like, they were so beautiful and they were so far back in the mix. I know that Philip was involved in the mixing and so it was his choice to put them that far, that far back. I don't know, especially when I record ad-libs and I give so much to those ad-libs and then you can barely hear them. It's like, well, what was the point? <laughs> I mean, I can hear so much, 
passion and beauty and expression in those ad libs, but I can barely hear them. I would love to hear them louder. So I guess I have to wait for a live performance for that. But that was his choice. Yeah, he composed it, co-produced it. Okay, yeah, he was involved in the mixing. Yep, absolutely. And shout out to Jet, mastered by Jet Galindo, who I had the pleasure of meeting a few months ago at a mixer. Um, she's amazing. She is amazing. And I see that she's been working with, well, she's been mastering more and more of SB19's work. So I love that. Anyway, speaking of love, I legit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't get, I don't get Justin's comment here. Oh, seven sins, right? <laughs> Took me a second. Ugh. Anyway, this was really, really cool. So, so different from, from SB19. So, so different from what Philip does with SB19. And as I always say, I love what he does with SB19. So don't ever leave. But, but this is beautiful. This is really, really high, high art to me, this song. It's not gonna be that pop top 40 song, but it was clear to me that's not what he was going for here. He just wanted to express. And it's really, really something so visceral and really, really just a beautiful musical offering to us. Thank you, Philip, for this one. And I'm excited to hear more. So let me know in the comments, which other ones you'd like me to check out. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you would like to see my other Philip reactions, they're right here. If you're an Instagram person, come find me there. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.